Welcome to SciEase. In this video, I am going to discuss the very important topic of chapter 2 that is structure of atom that is the topic is Hessenberg's uncertainty principle. In view of the shortcomings of Bohr model, attempts were made to develop a more appropriate model of an atom that is quantum mechanical model of an atom. Two developments which contributed significantly to this model. One was dual behavior of matter given by de Broglie and second one is Hessenberg's uncertainty principle given by Werner Hessenberg. So what is Hessenberg's uncertainty principle? Scientists were worried Scientists, all scientists, they try to find out the location of the electron. They were concerned about this. Hessenberg told that he knows the position of the electron. So, the scientist of the quantum mechanics, that is Schrodinger, he was very happy to know that the answer which we are going to find out that is that will be given by Hessenberg. But then Hessenberg replied that we cannot find, that is, it is impossible to determine the position and the velocity of the electron simultaneously. Schrodinger was surprised by this answer, but to some extent, Hessenberg, he was right. So what Hessenberg's principle is, it states that it is impossible to determine simultaneously. The word simultaneously is very important. It's impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and momentum or velocity of an electron. Hessenberg, he gave an expression for this and he defines uncertainty in position by x and delta x and uncertainty in momentum by delta p. And one thing I want to tell you that as the moment of the electron is three dimensional, we are to calculate the position and the velocity in one direction. That is why he used Px in the expression. So the expression was delta x into dot delta p is. He said that the uncertainty in position and the uncertainty in momentum is greater or equal to h by 4 pi. Okay. So there must be some error and that error is either equal to h by 4 pi or it is greater than h by 4 pi. So what is this h known as? It is Planck's constant. 4 is also constant and pi you know its value, it's again constant. So, this is uncertainty in position and this is uncertainty in momentum. We know that uncertainty in position or you can say momentum, that is equal to mv. Here we will put x because the moment is to be calculated in which direction? X direction. Here we will write Vx. Px is equal to mvx. Substituting the value delta x into delta mvx is greater or equal to h by 4 pi. Okay. But we know that mass of the electron that is constant. 
So, we can write this equation as m delta v x greater equal to h by 4 pi. Okay. Now, because m mass of the electron is constant, so we, we can put this m here. It will be product of uncertainty in position and velocity is greater equal to h by 4 pi m. So, there are two e expressions. One is this. This is very important on which the numericals they can be asked and another one is this. So, by Hessenberg, the uncertainty in position and velocity is greater or equal to h by 4 pi m. One thing he told that if the uncertainty in position that is small or you can say the uncertainty in position is accurate, then the uncertainty in velocity that is delta Vx will be large. In the same way, when delta Vx or you can say uncertainty in velocity is precise, then the uncertainty in position that is delta X that will be large. So, he told the he told that you cannot find the exact position and the velocity simultaneously of an electron. Okay? You can take, suppose I am electron. If you want to find out the position, then I, velocity have to be zero. Okay? I should stand still. Velocity, when velocity is zero, then you can find the position of the electron. But when the electron is moving like this, how it is possible to find out the position of the electron? When you start finding the position, electron that will be moved to some other place. Okay. So, Hessenberg's uh, principle that is very important and you should know the definition, mathematical expression with numericals. Now, next is the significance of Hessenberg's uncertainty principle. Uncertainty principle rules out the existence of definite paths or trajectories of the electrons and other similar particles. So, there are no definite paths or orbitals in which the electrons they are revolving. He rules out, Hessenberg's rules out the existence of these definite paths. The fixed path of an object that is determined by its location or you can say position and velocity at various moments. At various moments that will be chained. Okay. The next point that is if we know the position of the object, its velocity and the forces acting on it at a particular instant, then we can find where the object would be sometime later. We can tell the probable position of the electron sometimes later where it will go. Okay. And the last point which is very important that is that Hessenberg's uncertainty principle is not applied in our day-to-day -day life where the objects are not microscopic, they are macroscopic or bigger one. Like if we want to calculate the uncertainty in position as well as velocity in case of the elephant, okay? So, the uncertainty that will come out to be very small like 10 to the power minus 30 m, very small, which has no significance. So, this is clear from the explanation of the Hessenberg's uncertainty principle that it is applied only 
to the subatomic particles like electrons etc. Now next thing is we will solve the numericals related to uncertainty principle. Now we will solve the numerical based on Hessenberg's uncertainty principle. The statement is a microscope using suitable photons is employed to locate an electron in an atom within a distance of 0 0.1 Armstrong. What is the uncertainty involved in the measurement of velocity? First, we are to see that what is given and what is to be calculated. Here, delta x uncertainty in position that is given. First, we are to change into the standard unit. For that, we are to multiply it by 10 to the power minus 10. Okay, so this is the value of uncertainty in position and we are to calculate uncertainty in velocity, we are to calculate. So you know the formula for this, Hessenberg's uncertainty principle that is delta x delta v is equal to h by 4 pi m. Okay, we are to calculate this. So, take delta x over here in the denominator on the other side. So, delta v that will be equal to h by 4 pi m delta x. Sometimes the value of Planck's constant that is given, but sometimes you have to remember it that is not given. So, what is the value of H, Planck's constant? It is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34. Okay, it is joule second. Over 4 into pi, value of pi 3.14. Mass of electron that you should also know 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 and x is, x is 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 10. So calculate this, the answer I will tell you, the answer that is point. 579 into 10 to the power 7 meter second inverse. Okay, this is the answer of delta V or you can write it like this also 5.79 into 10 to the power 6 meter second inverse. So this is the uncertainty in velocity. So in the same way, if you are to calculate the uncertainty in uh, position, then delta V that will be given and you can calculate. So this expression that is very important, this expression is very important. You should memorize it and depending on uh, this expression, various numericals that can be given to you. So you will practice the numerical on your own in order to become perfect. As I always say, what? Practice makes a man perfect. So thank you very much. Hope you will revise it, listen the video again and again. And I will come with the next topic in another video. Till then, thank you very much.